we celebrate the feast of St. Francis de Sales, a very noted teacher in the church from the 17th century. And he was part of what was called the French School of Spirituality. We don't often hear about the French School of Spirituality today, but it was very noted for being Christ-centered. And that is a key for the people of France and Italy and that time, time in Europe. People were getting lost on what to really believe in. And the French school of spirituality said, focus on Christ. Have Christ as the center. So we have Cardinal Pierre de Beru, Francis de Sales, Vincent de Paul, Jean-Jacques Ollier, John Eudes, and Louis Marie de Montfort. All of them were part of this great group that were trying to bring Christ back to the people, the everyday, the ordinary. And what was the French school? Well, because they were so Christ-centered, great religious orders of men and women came from them. We have the Oratorians, the Vincentians, the Eudists, the Sulpicians, and many congregations of women religious. At the heart, of the French school of spirituality was the picture of Mary holding the child Jesus. Some would call it uh, Sede Sapientia, a lady seat of wisdom. But if you can imagine Mary holding Jesus, and that's what the people would talk, say, point to a statue of Mary holding Jesus, that Mary contemplated Jesus in her mind. Jesus held Mary held Jesus next to her heart. So we have that whole understanding of love. And finally, Mary was holding Jesus in her hands. So mind, heart, and hands translates into contemplation, love, and service. And if we think of that, Mary holding the child Jesus, then the French school of spirituality starts to make sense because it's Christ-centered. And Mary always pointed back to Jesus. In fact, good theology of saints and good theology in general needs to have Jesus as the center. If it's not pointing to Jesus, it is sort of questionable theology. The French school of spirituality had this sense <clears throat> of Jesus being the center. In fact, one of the prayers by Jean-Jacques Ollier said, Jesus, oh Jesus living in Mary, that it was so Christ-centered that Mary points us back to Jesus. As we think of that statue of uh, Sadie Sapienzi or of um, Lady Seed of Wisdom, Mary holding the child Jesus, we can think Mary contemplated much in her mind. Do we meditate on scripture? in our minds? Do we have that sense of silent preparation before Mass or before celebrating something important that we really want to get into that mindset of having Christ as our primary focus? Finally, Mary holding the child Jesus next to her heart. Do we have that sense of love and adoration that Jesus before all things, Jesus as my center, Jesus as my reason for being. And finally, as Mary holding the child Jesus in her hands, service. What service are we meant to do in Christ's name in the world? What service are we meant to use our hands or our gifts and talents for? What service can we give to the church and to our neighbors by using the gifts and talents God has given us? If we look at mind, heart, and hands, contemplation, love, and service, we start to see that the French school of spirituality was really rooted in some very basics of keeping Jesus first, keeping Jesus as the center. Another big part of the French school of spirituality was this sense of, I hope I get the word right, aniamontismont, meaning nothingness, that without Jesus, it's all nothingness that we have to have Jesus as the center and not be bogged down with all of these other distractions. That the French school of spirituality spawned some 
great founders like Francis de Sales, Vincent de Paul, Jean-Jacques Ollier, Jean Eudes, many women religious, because it was so simple. This day, as we try to live out our faith in the world, let us try to live the spirituality of the French school from the 17th century, of putting Jesus as our center, putting Jesus and being Christ-centered in our lives with our minds, hearts, and hands through contemplation, love, and service.